filming these videos at the end of the day when I'm when I'm all tired and a complete mess but it's it's been absolutely crazy I can't even tell you I love doing my influencer I don't even know what to, what we're called these days but I absolutely love it I could never give it up but I am so passionate about all my other work that I do the styling I've really kicked up my styling jobs and um, I'm so passionate about marketing and I've been doing like full on working but then doing all these hours with the influencer stuff and I love it, not complaining, I absolutely love it but I'm, you're seeing me dishevelled at the end of the day but I still really want to share these videos with you. Um, so we're going back to the old days and having just a haul today because there's so, look how much stuff I have to show you, wow. Um, and I've also got some more bits to show you. If you'd like to see some beauty bits, I have some amazing beauty bits. Um, things from Amazon, creams that have been out of this world for my eczema. I'm talking like £3.50 creams. What's going on around here? I can't get out of this steel door, honestly. Oh God, I've locked myself in. Hello? Hello? Uh, can you be quiet, please? <laughs> right, they're playing downstairs, so there's going to be so much noise. Um, so, be quiet! I'm filming! This is a crazy house, a absolutely crazy house. Um, so, lots of, this is a luxury hall. Then we're going to move into a summer high street, high end high street hall. Then I have some amazing beauty bits. Um, anything just from amazing beauty that I'm wearing to perfume, to Amazon finds. Nothing in this video is sponsored. Some things are gifted, some things I bought. I'd say half and half. But I truly hope that people that follow me by now know that it really doesn't matter. I don't want to be a cliche, cringy blogger, but... If it's me talking for five minutes about an eczema cream or me buying a net porte piece or being gifted a net porte piece, I really, really means everything to me that it's all the same thing. I'm just looking at my new Hermes bag. I just shared tonight my new Hermes special order a la carte bag. So I'll link that below if you haven't seen it. Um, house renovations are wild. But anyway, let's get into it. So... Where should we go from here? I'm going to start with the fashion-y bit. So, um, that is a bridesmaid dress option for my sister's wedding. Who's excited for their weddings this year? I'm so happy for everyone that can finally enjoy their weddings. I just can't wait for my sister's wedding. I can't wait. We're talking bridesmaid dresses at the moment. So, some amazing things. Oh, this is really high street stuff here. So, um, before I get into it, I would love it if you would go and follow me on Instagram. Um... And as promised, I did I did film a styling video. I mean, as I took to one of my styling jobs, and that is going to be my next video. So I'd love it if you would subscribe, trying to share a little bit of everything. Now, I've already spoken, I'm going to dig deeper, start start with some of the things that I've what's going on? Start with some of the things that I've already shown you, but I will dig deeper into those things and show you different ways of wearing them. Um Normally I don't share with the labels on because I'm, I'm conscious that you think I'm just sharing with labels on and sending everything back. Uh, I just haven't been out anywhere to show you anything like this. Um, and there's no need for me to wear them. But 
in four days time, we're all allowed out, as in properly allowed out. I just can't wait to go somewhere like Harrods and have a coffee and buy something. I know that's like probably shallow, but I just want to go out and see people. So, first item, which you've already seen if you follow my videos, is this Jacquemus blazer. Now, I love this. Although I haven't worn it, I've shot it twice. Um, so I have actually worn it for a few hours and it is amazing. Um, my mum's seen it, shown a couple of friends it, like I showed a couple of my friends, oh, which picture do you prefer? And they've all said, forget the picture, where is that suit from? So it is an amazing suit. I love the boyfriend um, Jacquemus blazer, which we have here. I love it. I have this in uh, cream linen. What's that on the back? And it is one of the best blazers. So I thought, you know what? I have to have it in black because I wear my cream one all the time and what I say about this cream one is it's that boyfriend fit but it fits on the shoulders and it fits in the arms so it looks like you're wearing your boyfriend's blazer that's what it's called but all the proportions are right in the shoulder and the sleeve which Jacquemus does so, so well and I love this blazer and when my clients are saying to me can I really want a nice cool blazer I don't want a fitted one this is what I'm actually recommending them because I love the boyfriend blazer on a very petite frame. Think Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. I love it. So if you're petite, go for it. You can pull anything off as long as you've got the confidence. But for those of you that know you're petite and want something a bit fitted, this is the blazer for you. I've got one of my clients, this blazer, who's very, very petite, loves her blazers. Um, and it was she. It was a way for her to enjoy that whole Jacquemus vibe. But it's cinched in at the waist. This is a 38 and I find it quite tight around my waist. But I have not made any effort with my baby body. I've ordered a Peloton and we're having a gym made. So uh, I'm, I'm a year late but I'm getting there. I'm not bothered at all whatsoever. Um, so I think when I get my fitness back up this will fit me perfectly. But it is cinched in and fitted at the waist. But it's still quite oversized everywhere else and I love it. I love it with the trousers. I said in my previous video, if I find a blaze that I love, I have a totem one that I love and I just bought the trousers because I have that go-to suit and I'm really glad that I've got these trousers. I can wear this to a wedding, I love a suit for a wedding, I've just got that go-to suit. So these two together look amazing, um, with a pair of jeans, there's nothing that this kind of pink doesn't go with, so I would love it with something shocking, like casual with the jeans, um, there's her bag or with a little Hermes Constance for like wedding vibes but then I would also wear it with an over like look even this I could wear this with a pair of cream joggers or black joggers and that it you, it's a cost per wear piece absolutely love it love the tailoring for Jackmas um it's a real hit that one, absolutely love it. I'm gonna pop that one there. The trousers look amazing with a shirt, with a t-shirt, as a two-piece. It's just a really good find. Next, we will talk about, let's talk about this one. So you've already seen this. Showed it earlier, but I just love these boyfriend fit Jacquemus blazers. They fit very nicely. They give you that oversized look, but tailored and knitted everywhere so it's very flattering and when you wear something oversized imagine with some slim fit trousers some oversized shorts which by the way listen on because I have found the best boyfriend not even boyfriend fit I just bought them big so that they're boyfriend fit but stay on for the most amazing denim shorts this for me Hermes sandals orange sandals denim shorts white t-shirt Nice necklace, that is me for the summer. Baseball cap, going into autumn with my leather jean, leather trousers, jeans. This is just an amazing blazer. If you're looking for a nice, luxe, cost per wear blazer, can't recommend the Jacquemus ones enough. They do so many different colours. Um, I got a new updated version of the Jacquemus dress. Um, I'm actually going to insert a picture of one of the models that I styled wearing this dress. Um, do you know, I'm not even sure I have a picture ready available. Maybe I'll just put in the, um, I'll ask her, I'm sure she won't mind. I've got a friend that has this dress as well. I just don't want to put it on because I'm so pale and I don't know, I just feel like this is my, 
going out for like holiday dress. I, I just loved it for a holiday. I can't stop thinking about holiday. I'm, I'm, I'm normally okay not on, oh no, that's a lie. It's been two, nearly two years for me to, of going on holiday. So I just imagine this with some flats, nice sun-kissed tan, jean jacket, Jackmas blazer. I just know it's one of those dresses that's comfortable. Um, if you do have a larger chest and you're not 19 like me, I recommend wearing a bralette and I always safety pin it. I'm not going to have something low cut, um, but don't be scared of it. Just safety pin it or wear a bodysuit underneath. Like there's some amazing totem racer bags. They also do some really good uh, ones in Zara. So that is how I'd wear this. Don't be scared about the gaping front. You can always safety pin it like I do or just wear something underneath. Um, they actually look really nice with feminine lace like uh, blouses or lace shirts. You can really layer this. But I already have a white one from two years ago and I love it. Um, what else should we, you've already seen this. This is my Isabel Morant tassel blazer. I love a tassel jacket. I have my Saint Laurent one that I absolutely love and I have a really big collection of vintage ones. Um, and I've already spoken about this, but I just love the fact that it was red. I can't wait to wear this out. I actually wore this to my photo shoot and I thought I generally forgot to take this label out because I was trying it on and then I just threw it in the car and then I ran out of the car to go to the shoe and it was cold in where we were shooting and I put it on but because I wasn't going out out and I was focused on the job I never took this out but I've taken the label off you know the one that says you cannot cut this off otherwise you can't return it that one I, I always take them off straight away um but yeah, I just loved it. I was like doing my job and I could really move around and I absolutely loved it. This one is already on my Instagram if you want to go and see it. Um, and I bet by the time this video goes out, it is sold out. But check out the new Isabel Morant collection because it's amazing. Let's have a little talk about these bags. Um, I have, I am deciding which one I want. I'm not going to keep both of them. That is why I have left the label on. The other one's inside there. Um, but I just love, I, I love a vintage vibe bag. And I think this is going to be one to watch this year. I love how understated it is. I love the compartments inside. It's just a very chic, classic, timeless bag. Very good price point and it's definitely a hit bag this year and ever since I got my gold Kelly bag I've been really into tan bags they just warm up an outfit look really good for the summer with all white imagine with one of these dresses a nice tan bag flat shoes sneakers I just love the classicness of it and that will just take you right through all, all year round with a camel coat a black coat same with this one but then really cute for the summer I love a long crossbody bag, um, and I'm just a really huge fan of this new style by Saint Laurent. That's that one. And you know, I really love the, the green one as well. I do have a Birkin in forest green Vert Cypress, and I love wearing a green bag. I feel like it's actually a very classic colour. It's a colour that can be worn with anything, and it makes a nice change to black. Um, and they've still got the green in stock, so I do recommend if you're looking, if you're bored of a black bag, I recommend green. It's actually a very versatile classic colour. There is so much to get through. Um, this is a Saint Laurent trench. I love a trench coat. Now, trench coats can arguably be a bit, when do I wear a trench coat? It's too cold to wear them when it's in the winter. I don't want to wear a trench coat in the summer. But... Living in England, we can use trench coat weather. Like at the moment, it's trench coat weather. It rains all the time in England, so that in itself is enough. But I just love the layering of a trench coat. I love how they're loose fitting. You can wear them with lots of layers and they just shield you from that wind and they're good for the rain. So I love the layering of a trench. I do think they're actually really handy and everyone should have a trench coat in their collection. I have a couple of leather trenches and I have a full on rain trench um, from a beautiful British brand. He's playing with the baby and so I can hear the, the scream in the plane but that doesn't bother you. Um, and this was just a really beautiful one. I actually have a leather trench from Saint Laurent. I always say that Saint Laurent do jackets and leather jackets and blazers to perfection. 
Blazers and leather jackets always go up a size in Saint Laurent, unless you're petite and you love fitted, of course, you know, but they do run through, um, small to size. I always go up a size. Trench was fine because they're already quite a boxy, loose fit anyway, but I love this khaki colour. I thought it was so unusual and it looks so good with the cream or beige fedora. Um, it was just a very beautiful trench. It would look so nice with my brown suede uh, Chanel classic flap. I really am going in random here. So I'm going to start off by showing you actually. Um, let's go into the more signature pieces. Yeah, I've gone a bit all over the places. I'm going to, I'm going to reel it in and go with the signature pieces. And now this I love. I think it's probably my yearning for, for travelling because when I'm travelling, um, believe it or not, I don't shop when I'm travelling unless it's for local things, things that I can't get anywhere else. I'm not interested in going into Chanel or, you know, these kind of places. I love to pick up something like this from a local or a local artisan or market. So that's probably why I was drawn to this. I just love the idea of layering this. You could wear this with a little white dress, you could just wear it as it is, like a vest with a pair of jeans, um, a lovely navy blue blouse, imagine that, or white blouse, I just think it was really nice for layering, imagine with a maxi dress, I just loved it, I thought it was something that could really make an outfit, I thought it was quite quirky, really really beautiful embroidered piece there. Next I have a totem blazer, so I love totem. I feel really bad that I've left all the labels on because normally I'm very quite strict on wearing all my pieces before I show you, but you do, I hope you understand that it's lockdown and I'm having to do it a little bit of a different way. And I have upped my shopping game, even though a couple of these things are gifted, it's still, you know, things that I choose wisely and I am getting very excited to be able to go out. Um, but I do love classic things and I I don't ever get sucked into just buying statement pieces. I love my classic pieces like this. I just love the classic near. I just know this is actually the type of thing that I'm going to pick up all the time, especially in spring. Um, just something that I'm going to pick up with my wardrobe all the time. There's actually a leather trench speaking of leather trench, um, new season and I am so tempted, I'll link it below, tell me what you think. I'd also love to know, how, uh, please, I would honestly be so interested to know how excited, I know it's not the same for every country, but in England and most of Europe, we have been locked down, I have a lot of, not a lot, but I have quite a few friends in the US that have had more freedom than us, so I know it might be different there, but tell me, are you excited? What do you think about the whole tracksuit trend? I love a tracksuit, and I think I'm still going to be wearing the whole tracksuit, but I'm genuinely looking forward to wearing a tracksuit with a blazer, makeup, and a nice handbag. I've only been going to the park or the supermarket. I've literally been taking my card, and that's it. Phone in the pocket, done. I'm genuinely looking forward to having a bag and a blazer and still wearing my tracksuits. What what, what are you thinking? Are you like, I'm done with the tracksuit. I've worn loungewear for 18 months, two years. I want to go big. Like the roaring 20s. The roaring 20s happened for a reason, where everyone was just, you know, they wanted to celebrate and go out and that has so much more meaning to me now. I've always been interested in the 20s and how glamorous they are, but it makes so much sense. I know it's not the same thing with, you know, we didn't have a war. I know it's not the same thing, but do you think it's going to be like that? That we're going to have like the roar in 2021 and everyone's just going to go wear their best embellished pieces and really go all out. I, I really am so interested to know, are you looking forward to wearing your normal clothes, still interested in buying tracksuits, but glamorising it up, which I definitely am. But I'm also really can't wait to wear my things her best. I will wear an embellished jacket or blouse to go shopping. I will. Because it's like exciting to go out. Oh, please, I would love to know your feedback. Another amazing blazer this Saint Laurent. So if you follow me and watch my videos, you will know that I sold my Bauman blazer like this and I was so disappointed to sell it and I kept hold of it for a good year because it was this muted grey tone. And when I was trying it on to sell, I was like, oh, I love this muted grey tone Bauman. I've never done it again. I've never seen it since. And then Saint Laurent goes on release the exact same cotton, heavy cotton, muted grey blazer. I'm a bit close. So I have a habit of doing that. 
Um, so I was over the moon with this. Went one size up because I love an oversized fitted blazer and sent one I feel come up a little bit tight. This fits me perfectly. 38 would have been fine, but I like that comp. I love driving in my blazers and everything like that. So I was so happy. If you loved that Bauman muted blazer, I have a lot of grey tones and beige tones and nude toned bags. I'm back. I had to settle on array for bedtime and then I went in a rabbit hole of emails and um, I've been gone for an hour basically. Did that, did that, did that. Blue dress. So I have an amazing wedding in Paris um, and this is what I had this dress in mind for. It's at the most beautiful location. I'm so excited to go but they moved their date which clashes with my sister's wedding. I'm so disappointed. We're both so disappointed and I'm hoping that because of travel restrictions in France, obviously that's horrible for them to reschedule their wedding again. I'm kind of hoping that happens so I can go to their wedding as well. This is what I had this dress for. But same old, like a broken record, I have my dress for. That if you see a beautiful dress that you love, snap it up because there's nothing worse. I mean, of course there's something worse than having an event and having to rush. Whenever I have an event and I haven't got a dress, nine times out of ten I'm not happy with the dress I chose and I normally overspend as well so it doesn't bother me if my dress is out of season, off trend, it's old, the older the better because then no one else is going to wear it. Um, I just love this this dress, excuse the twilly but I just love this combination of the different blue tones with my grey and do you know what's a really amazing bag for weddings and events? and I use it so much, it's my Lady Dior. I love this bag for weddings. I have a mini Dior, which I love, and I love how the mini Dior is so small and fits my camera, not just for vlogging, but for, you know, weddings as well. Um, and I know I always say this, but this was the ribbon at the last wedding that I went to, and this is my ribbon, that's Paris's ribbon, and I literally just wrapped it around my bag when we were eating our lunch, and it was the perfect, match so i get a lot of questions about my twinnies usually i do like to have a dual twinny and a dual bag dual bag chanel twinny and a chanel bag and an hermes twinny and an hermes bag but you can put whatever ribbon or handkerchief or scarf on any bag but this is normally my wedding bag because it is very delicate it's normally feminine i love to wear feminine looks for weddings but how beautiful did that look and i just thought that it was a very chic timeless dress i loved it Really, really loved that dress. So there's a little bit of everything in this video, isn't there? I even love the idea of an oversized blazer hanging that over the shoulder. Love the idea of that. Then, that's another dress. I love a knitted collar. So I chose this one by Ganny. I just really love a knitted polo. And I have another one here, which is a beautiful cashmere mix another knitted polo. It's just a style of top that I really, really love. It's very comfortable. I love how you can style it up with the high neck or undo it and have it really relaxed. And I love if you have a small chest to have this open very low with nice dainty chains. I love that kind of look. I can't pull that off. But I just love how you can restyle this and have it very formal, very casual, very hobo. I love the fabrics that Lulu Studio uses. They use really lovely fabrics. Um, and it's a brand where the price point reflects the composition. And just because you're buying something that's luxury doesn't mean that the composition is nice. Um, I'm, not, I don't, I'm not massively against polyester. I'm massively against the pricing of polyester. Because using polyester, if you were to sell something for £150 that's polyester, please know that that item of clothing, forget the hardware and buttons and embellishments, but for something plain like this that's polyester, this will cost you under £10, max £20, because it's polyester. So when they up the margin to £150, and even higher, I've seen polyester for... And I hate cashmere mix, but it's 70% polyester. Just be careful of this kind of thing, because it really annoys me. If you're going to have a polyester item, fine. But let's respect the pricing of that, because it's very greedy, and 
if you can say luxury price point, keep it luxury. So I love that about Lulu Studio. I love that the pricing is very, very fair um, and very beautiful quality. And it's a French brand, typical French timeless pieces. So that's just a very nice, I always cover my arms. I, I don't like my arms. Very nice classic piece. Love, 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 love. And I just thought that was a really nice, cute classic piece from Ganny as well. I'm just a huge fan of Lucy Polo's. This is so sweet. I can't wait to wear this. This I would love to wear. There's so many ways I can wear this. I really love a statement cardigan. Um, I would love to wear this with jeans. Um, a nice oversized blouse over the top, like a delicate blouse, like tulle or lace or something. Um, with a dress, with one of my white dresses undone. I just think that you can wear this so many different ways. And I loved, look at the detail on the collar. I love Miu Miu. I re, look at, it's not just a pearl button. It's a pearl button with diamonds within the pearls. You see that? Um, I just love Miu Miu. I just find that they, they are so strong every season. They haven't done a trend piece for a long, long time. And I think that's a good thing because sometimes when you have a trend piece, people get sick of the brand. It becomes sickly and it has to reinvent itself with a new it product. Or you can just be like Miu Miu. I, I just love going to Miu Miu every single season. I buy something from Miu Miu every single season and I have done for about four years because there's just always something amazing, whether it's a jacket, um, they do some amazing polo sweatshirts at the moment. They do tailoring so beautifully. I love Miu Miu shoes. It's just a brand that hasn't had a trend piece and people haven't been gone wild about it. But always check out Miu Miu because it's such an amazing brand. Another piece that I loved was this Saint Laurent. I'm, I'm definitely a huge fan of Saint Laurent. I love their, their bags, um, all of their accessories. I love their ready-to-wear. It's just always one of the best brands for me. So it's definitely up there with the brands, my top five brands. But this is a beautiful knitted, it just feels like 100% wool. What is this? Doesn't feel like it's cashmere. Um, and it's got really nice detail. Uh, yeah, it's a, oh, it's, got, it's wool, but it's got 8% mohair. Yeah, I can feel that now, but it's a very soft, of course, high quality knitwear. Um, just a cable knit, and it just has this really nice detail, like tuxedo detail, and I'm a really big fan of buttons that are the same fabric. I just find it really understated and easy to wear. Um, just a classic uh, knitted cable knit. I do actually buy a classic cable knit every single year, and I've noticed that. I have a beautiful Burberry one that I bought about three years ago. That was a gift. Sorry, I hate saying bought when it was a gift, but I love that. I wear it every single year and I just love a classic cream cable knit. Really, really love it. So that was a good find. Another one that's very similar, but a lower, lower, point, lower price point is this one. I just loved the detail of the cable knit because obviously you can get different details of a cable knit. And I love the traditional buttons. It just reminded me of one that I had when I was younger. And I love it with this, this cute little knit. Um, this is a Frankie Shop two-piece. So I love Frankie Shop, but I wish that they would improve on their, on their composition. Because the price point is it's reasonable for designer. But I think it's slightly high for the composition, but they get their silhouettes so right every single time. The blazer fit, the quirky little, they're just such an amazing brand for quirky, for classic pieces with a twist. That's why I love Frankie Shop and I, they do get their fit very, very well um, and always good colour palette. But this I love. So I love these... Um, sleeveless kind of tops, but I'm very conscious of my arms, so, but I love wearing them under jackets when I'm layering, but the reason why I loved this is because it shows this bit here, so it covers up my arm and it's just a really nice design feature um, that I really loved and I picked this up in grey as well, so it's two in one, I would wear it like this under a jacket in when we come into the end of spring, into summer, because I don't want so many layers underneath, but then I'd wear it like that together. So for me, that was a really good quirky piece. So have we gone through everything? There's the grey one. Really nice grey tone. So we've gone through everything, I think. 
Um, the next, oh, I've showed you these earrings. Oh, they're in my handbag downstairs. They come in a beautiful sentiment box. I'll put a cutaway here. Loved these. I love a shell, but I loved how lightweight they, they are. You can wear, I love wearing my hair up with a statement earring, um, but statement earrings can be a bit heavy and normally I avoid clip-on. That's some advice I'd give to you. Say you're going into Chanel, random, not related to this haul, what it is, but when you go into Chanel and they show you a pair of earrings that's clip-on, ask for the studded ones because they always do their earrings in a studded and a clip-on. Um, and don't, I have so many earrings where people say, oh, I love these Chanel earrings, but they always fall out. And I say to them, didn't you buy the, the studded ones? And they're like, no, they only showed me the clip-on. I thought they only come in clip-on. But I will always get shown them and I say, no, I want the studded. And then they'll go and bring me out the studded or they'll transfer or I'll have to wait or I just won't buy them. So a top tip when buying Chanel earrings, they do them in both clip-on and studded and always go for the studded because obviously if you've not got your ears pierced, then go with the clip-ons. But clip-ons are painful, they fall off. These sentiment ones, I was not going to keep them if they if they fell off, but they were so amazing. They're so light. I was very impressed with them, and I love it when I find a good earring. So that's that. Oh, I've got this bag. I didn't talk about this because I did talk about it in my last two videos, but I always get asked for an amazing bag, designer bag that I recommend that's around the 1000 price point. I was going to reply to someone on Instagram about this and I thought, oh, it's a bit more, it's around 1600. I went and double checked and it's not, it's actually nearer 1000 than it is 1600 and I was very surprised and I'll tell you why. Normally when a bag is around the 1000 mark, it's a more simple bag, like this one. This is a very good example, my Gucci trunk bag. I love this bag, I really, really recommend it. I'll link it below. It's a beautiful bag, look at that. I absolutely love it. But you can see, it doesn't look cheap or anything, far from it, it's one of my favorite bags. Um, but when you compare that these are similar prices, this isn't better than this, I love them equally. Generally love them equally. I'm very happy when I find a bag that I'm head over heels for because I do love my Hermes bags and I would rather put a thousand or two thousand away towards an Hermes bag. So for me to fall in love with a bag that's not Hermes price, it's got to be good. And it has nothing to do with the price point, it just so happens that this is a bag around a thousand pounds, but it has beautiful hardware, piping, it has uh, pockets at the back. I I really am surprised that this bag wasn't around nearer 2000, like 1008, 1006. So, top recommendation if you're looking for a bag around thousand and love this as well. Like these are two of my absolute favorite bags. I love my Chanel Classic Flats, I love my Hermes, but if I wasn't into that price point or into these bags, this is next best thing in terms of price point. But I just love the monogram. I love the vintage vibes. It's very practical with the pocket at the back, the dust, adjustable strap, absolute winner for me. Absolutely love it. Really, really love this bag won't go on about it too much. Shall we now talk about some high street bits? So this is a dress that I have worn. Go check it out on my Instagram. I wore this um, to shoot some images and I loved the puff sleeve, the on glaze, laser cut fabric. It came with a slip, an underslip, but it is very romantic and beautiful. I buy so many white dresses each summer. I love them personally. I love them with a uh, pair with knitwear, whether it's a beautiful, delicate knit. Out Dazzle has some amazing delicate knits at the moment. And this one that I have this season, I've already shown you it. It's a lovely baby blue one. It looks so beautiful with any dress and they don't have many left. There's also a pink one that I'm very tempted to buy. But I just love layering beautiful romantic dresses with either knitwear or a leather jacket of any colour. I have every colour, baby blue, grey, baby pink, beige, black, I love them. I love pairing romantic dresses with leather jackets, cowboy boots, it's my kind of thing. On holiday, flat sandals, uh, denim jacket, I just love, I love a white dress. So that is definitely one of my favourite ones at the moment. Taking loads of pictures of them. Now we're going into a lower price point. 
Um, and this is with a brand I've never had before. Chase. Jass. Jass. Um, and it was just a nice, simple, very 90s, just classic dress. And I love the sleeves here where it's um, not lined and it covers up the top of my arms. A nice scalloped hem and I just thought it was very classic, very nice price point and just a nice dress to put away for the summer. And I love that it's buttoned all the way down and you can undo the buttons at the bottom. That was just a very nice find. I have another dress here that is not a maxi, this is more of a midi, but I could just imagine this, I was getting so excited thinking about holidays. This is the same brand and this is a very nice price point. So I love Out Dazzle for all the bohemian vibes. They have amazing brands, Philly Boo, Love, Sack, Love Shack Fancy, all the well-known brands, but the buying team is are very good there. They pick up all the um, random brands, some brands that I've never heard of before, and they also offer some lower price points as well, like this one. So this is a nice, another anglaise dress. This is a nice midi, and this comes with a belt, but of course you can change that up with the belt, your own belt, if you like. Again, I would just pair this with, you know, typical my style, heavy duty, biker boots, leather jacket, or again, the cute knit that I have. So looking forward to wearing that. And this covers me up all in the places that I need to. It's got a nice flattering neck neckline, covers the top of my arms, which is just something I'm conscious of. And I'm just very excited to wear this. You can't go wrong with white dresses in the summer, can you? So definitely stocked up with that. Um, this is such a long video. I did tell you I have so much to get into. Now, some... I love, these are high street, completely high street. I love a waistcoat. I love, love, love a waistcoat. I used to wear these completely with nothing on underneath, with a pair of jeans. Back in the day when I'd go out with my friends to the bar or date night with my boyfriend, husband, I love them. I think at my age, and it's nothing to do with age, just me personally, I would feel too conscious wearing this as it is, but I'm looking forward to layering this with a tee, a nice blouse, or probably for me, I would, if if I, if I was going out, I'd probably have some nice fake tan on, I know that's not for everyone, fake tan, and then I would hang this over my shoulders, and I think that would look really nice, with a classic pair of jeans, some nice Maisel Manolos, keep it very chic, lovely, with the centre one bag, um, and I've been looking one for a very, very long time and I picked it up in black and in, in beige and it was just a very amazing waistcoat to buy. Very simple, nice fabric. Ooh, made with eco-friendly recycled fabrics. Um, yeah, and it was, trust me, it's taken me a long time to find a classic, simple waistcoat. Normally they're satin or velvet or too low. This is actually a very good find. And I recommend um, buying a waistcoat because you can style them up so many different ways. They just look so good with a pair of jeans or a pair of le leather leggings. Um, and if you really want it, I think they look amazing with a pair of joggers. I think they really, if you style it right, um, and then I've got here, do you know, I haven't even unpacked them, but I just ordered some classic shirts. I love a nice crisp white shirt for the summer. So a white shirt, and then they had them, this is a slightly different oversized, but they had them in yellow, baby pink, and baby blue. I won't get these out yet because I'm actually going to take them. I want to unpack them in London. Um, I just went for size small because they're quite oversized but just classic to wear. I would wear them, I, I might even get a medium and wear them with a belt, um, nice pastel Chanel bag, which is just how I would wear it. And then with a nice pair of jeans, flat sandals. I just thought, how nice, like in all the colors. It's actually hard to find plain, nice fitting shirts. I've got the white one in this already. It's a really nice fit. But I just picked them up in all the three sizes. You can tie them up at the front. Um, I'm not going to show them in this, but in my next haul, I promise, or maybe even vlog, I promise that I'm going to unpack because I need to steam them and everything, um, but I will link them below, I just wanted to show them in this haul, and make sure you subscribe because I will be styling up, like I will do a whole video on how to style up a plain shirt, what colours to buy for what skin tones. Um, so should we get in, let's get into a bit of the makeup, I want to be very quick with this. 
Um, first up is the perfume that I'm wearing, and this is a new perfume by Sicily, Azaya, Azaya Nui. So it's in the most beautiful, silky, woody, rosy. I love a masculine perfume. I love rose scents. So for me, finding a new perfume is amazing. I did work with Sicily on this, but this is not a part of our campaign. Our campaign has been and gone. But I genuinely am loving this perfume. It's just such a nice, woody, masculine scent like an undertone of masculine, but has this beautiful rose scent. It's very unique and I love it. I hope, I'm not sure if it's still going on because my, my project with them is finished, but I'll leave the link below to claim a free sample. I'm not sure if they're run out by the time I send this out, but I might as well um, share it. Next, I want to show you... Um, I don't have it here, so I'll have to do a cutaway. Um, code 8, I actually discovered this on net a -Port 8 but they have the most amazing bronzer, so I have to show you, I've been using it a lot. It's quite um, a thick texture, like you just have to put one, one brush on, and that's all you need. And it's shimmery, but not glittery. All their packaging has mirrors. I actually have a 15% off discount code for code 8. But I really looked into this brand. Um, this is not a part of a collaboration. I, again, I have worked with them before, but this is not a part of my collaboration. I'm not even sure if my 15% discount code is still working, but hopefully it still is. I did a lot of research before I worked with this brand. I always use my beauty products for at least a week. I actually used this for three weeks before I decided to work with them, just to make sure I really liked it. But what I loved about Code 8 is, I, I didn't read anything about them. I used it first so that I get my first impressions and I couldn't believe how effortless it was to use, like the Radiant BB Cream. Everything was very velvety. The powders were blendable, the BB Cream was blendable, so was the foundation. And then when I read about it afterwards, the formulas, the whole ethos of the brand is to be a quick and easy makeup brand with an effortless finish. So I was like, that's exactly what I thought. So I really truly love this brand. The palettes are very simple, very beautiful, natural tones. And for me, it's about the effortless velvet finish because everything was so easy to blend. That means quick makeup, beautiful finish. So a huge fan of Code 8. And I can honestly tell you that the lipstick that I've been using, their pissing colour, it's the most nourishing, amazing lipstick. Sometimes when it's nourishing, it, it falls off uh, quite easily. It comes off quite easily. Um, but this one doesn't, and it is the most beautiful no nude texture. So I'll leave a swipe up link below. Um, not swipe up, it's not Instagram, Claire. I'll leave a link below to Code 8 and that I have a 15% off. Now should we talk about the eczema creams? Because, you know, this is just a haul and I genuinely just want to show you some amazing things that I have. I hate saying this, but none of this is sponsored. I bought these all from Amazon. I don't work with Amazon. Again, if I was sponsored by any of these brands, because I believe them, I'd be happy to. It's so awkward sharing this because I don't want to say not sponsored because it shouldn't, it shouldn't make the difference. So... I've gone back to using Amiga, Amiga capsules because I had this when I was pregnant and then I stopped taking all my vitamins, all my tablets, all my Amiga and I thought, why on earth have I done that? I should be, I should be using it, taking them all anyway. My eczema has come back in force. They say that it takes nine months for your body to get back to normal and I, I can confirm that happened with me. After nine months, I feel completely myself. My hair has gone back to its normal... Um, Everything has gone back to normal. My hormones, my moods, my skin, my hair. I'm not glowing. I've lost my baby glow. Um, so although I feel great and back to normal, the bad side of all my... I've lost all those extra hormones. So um, before I complain and say my hormones are back to normal, I want to at least do what I'm doing. I've gone back to bad eating habits, I'm not taking no vitamins. I'm not drinking enough water. So I'm going back to taking my vitamins. Really recommend this one. And the reason why I recommend it is because it's a vegan fish oil. I couldn't take pregnancy supplements because they all had fish oil in and I'm really allergic to fish. So I had to get an, a vegan one. But then when I looked into vegan, um, I was like, this is better than the fish one, isn't it? I watched that Sea Spiracy documentary and it made me glad that I'm allergic to fish. And Paris said that actually 
Amiga, if this is wrong, blame it on Paris because he told me this. He said that Amiga is actually from this algae plant anyway. So get it direct from the source. So I recommend that. If you take your Amiga, try out the vegan one. This was recommended to me by my friend Hannah and I have to share it with you because I know eczema is a huge problem for all of us. When I put it on, this was like £4 from Amazon, when I put it on it stung so badly but normally that's a good sign it worked and it worked amazing. The only problem with good eczema creams is I find your skin gets immune to it and it doesn't work so I'm enjoying using that while whilst it's working and in the meantime I'm going to nourish my body with the Amiga, the vitamins healthy food and water. Another product that I wanted to talk to you about is this Welder Cream. This is one of the nappy creams that I actually use for Honoré and my eyes were red raw. Actually, on the shoot that you're going to see on Wednesday, I was in agony. Honestly, I was up all night, they were bleeding, my skin was bleeding. I looked 20 years older than normal. I was, like, everyone was asking me if I was okay. I was like, I'm fine, I've just got really bad eczema. Um, so I went home and I used this because I didn't have anything else at the time. I was waiting for my orders to come in. This is amazing. It took away the redness and most of it took away the pain. So this is nappy cream and I only use this on Honoré when he has a rash. Um, but it does work. However, it didn't fix the dryness or the flakiness. So I do recommend that if your skin's throbbing and you're in pain. But I do really, this, like I've been using this as a combination. They're both very inexpensive in terms of beauty creams. Really recommend them. I'll link them below. I don't want to talk anymore because I feel like this is an hour long video. Would love it if you would subscribe. Um, I, 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 hate, I hate not trying on everything, but it's late and I really am gonna try my best, but I'll link everything below for you. And if I haven't worn everything as much as normal, because there is so much in this video, I will try and uh, do as many cutaways as I can. But these are all my bits and I will be wearing them a lot. So follow me on Instagram. I'll be wearing them over on Instagram. Um, and stay tuned on my channel. I'll be wearing these in other hauls. I don't share things and never wear them. Like I, I really appreciated the other day that someone said, Oh, Claire, I've noticed that you actually wear the stuff in your hauls. And I'm like, yeah, of course. Of course I do. Like, I don't loan all my items and give them back. I do sometimes if it's for a project or an event or there's the odd piece that I'm loaning. I do do it at the odd time, but not really. I either buy the pieces or I'm working with the brand and it is gifted and you will see me wearing it again. I just find it odd if I'm showing you something and not wearing it again. So I appreciated that comment. So, um... Yes, thank you so much for watching. I'd love it if you would subscribe. Go check out my special order Hermes bag, which was the video before. And do check out my next video, which is taking you to work with me on a styling shoot. So I'll link this t-shirt below as well, um, if it's still in stock. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Sorry, I'm back again. You've got me back again. Um, I wanted to show you this jumper. Nice rainbow jumper. I haven't worn it yet. I just thought it was really cute for summer. Um, and I have here, I'll tell you what else I have here, I have a huge bag of samples from Ruth Sloan. Uh, thank you so much for your patience with Ruth Sloan. Because I have a full time job, and I do other work on the side, and I am a mum as well, it's taken me longer. I, I, sh I could have launched this two months ago, but the truth is, because I have a full time job and doing Ruth Sloan on the side and I'm doing it all on my own, I don't have a business partner, I don't have an investor or silent partners or a team, I'm literally doing it on my own. Um, so I really, really appreciate your patience on that. I'm hoping to launch soon, but I have a whole, and I've obviously given myself a big job by launching with so many different products. But yeah, anyway, I had this in the bag. Um, you can get 15% off these hats. I love a whole black look like this. Imagine with the pink jacket. <gasps> Lovely. But these are from the same place where you can get 15% off. But yeah, imagine. Like all black. I love the Prada. Look, you can't get rid of me, can you? I love the Prada. The black with the pink. That looks nice, doesn't it? I just love this pink colour. It's like a happy pink colour, isn't it? Oh, I didn't even realise it's pink and pink. Um, or we can go all black. We can go all black. All black look. With a pair of jeans, leather trousers. Or even, I've got a pair of cream joggers on the moment. And this look actually looks really nice. Cream joggers, black blazer. Love this kind of look. 
trainers, Monona Maisel. I love wearing my Monona Maisel with a pair of joggers. But yeah, there's lovely classic pieces. Like this morale could literally last me the whole year. Throw, in, throw me in a pair of jeans and a pair of joggers and denim shorts. I just remembered. See, look, we're back for a reason. I didn't show you the amazing leather shorts, did I? Oh my God, there's a whole outfit that I didn't show you. So this hoodie is the most amazing hoodie because it's a knitted hoodie but with no sleeves and I have the matching I can't believe I said goodbye and I'm not even showing you everything and then um yeah the hoodie comes with knitted shorts so I would wear all together that outfit but I'd also wear them separately like I'd wear this with the shorts I'd wear a sweatshirt with the shorts I'd wear a shirt with the shorts these are the denim shorts that I was telling you about. So I bought these way too big. I bought them in a 31 when actually I should have got them in a 29 or a 30. But they are the most amazing denim shorts. Normally I go to Levi for my shorts. But it's hit and miss what size you get. But I love a Goldie. Such an amazing brand. I can't recommend their jeans enough. If you're looking for a good pair of denim shorts, either get these true to size or buy them two, three sizes up and just have them hanging off of you, which I love. If I'm on holiday or it's hot, I just love pairing, uh, throwing over a pair of baggy shorts with a blazer. I can't believe I nearly forgot them because it's literally one of my favourite finds out of this whole haul. So yeah, I think we didn't blow. And goodbye once again. The rock star. Ani, Ani, Ani. Ani, Ani, Ani is a rock star. Show you drums. Arnie, 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 Arnie. That's your newborn dummy. You look like a rock star. Are <laughs> we going to a festival, the pair of us? You got your drums? Are you a drummer? Yes. Are you a drummer at the festival? You've got an eyelash hanging out your eye. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, you, look, you like this hat? Look, normally you hate your hats. <laughs> He's modelling his festival outfit. So the first hat you ever allow me to put on you is a fedora. Where's he gone? There he is! There he is! There he is! <laughs> but you should be in bed. He's loving life with his fedora, his shaggy cardigan and his hairbrush drum set. Mm-hmm. <laughs>